Yo, what is going on, everybody? This is RBT, and welcome back to another Madden 18 experiment. And you might be looking at the title, and you think it's a stupid video. In hindsight, it does kind of look like a stupid idea. But you gotta understand that this is kind of legit. But the title, this isn't clickbait, this is kind of legit. So, if you watch my Madden 18 Connected Franchise series, we signed a guy out of free agency by the name of Ross and Thurber. And I was kind of confused. And let me guys, let me show you who Ross and Thurber is really quick. Because normally, like, even if I if I don't necessarily know a lot about a player, I'd at least heard of him before. Saw where he went to college, saw him get drafted, or maybe he's an undrafted free agent. But in, every time you go into connected franchise, there's a quarterback who's a 56 overall, the lowest rated quarterback at a free agency with the name of Ross and Thurber. So we signed him in my connected franchise series. I was playing with him in preseason. I just got to thinking, who is Ross and Thurber? And if you look here, it's kind of weird because he's 22 years old, but it says he has seven years of NFL experience. That would mean he started playing in the NFL when he's 15 years old. So something's up with Rawson. Rawson's got something crazy going on. Either this is this is crazy or he sold his soul to the devil. So I wanted to look more into Rawson Thurber. It says he went to Cal. So I Googled his name and no NFL player pops up. It's just a free, it's just a freaking movie director. So I was like, what? So Apparently, this guy is a movie director, but it doesn't make any sense, so I looked deeper into it. So I looked on Twitter to see if there's anybody named Ross and Thurber, and there was. And his, like, I was wondering if this was just a mistake or something weird going on, but his last tweet was a retweet of him being in the game, and a response was like, this is a dream come true. So apparently, what people said on Reddit is that this guy is a movie director and won an auction to be in the game. So this is legit freaking movie director in Madden 18 that you can play with which is freaking crazy you ever thought <laughs> like what what what's a what's the movie director doing in the game like why Madden's wild but today we're gonna put freaking Ross and Thurber to the ultimate test and see if he can lead a team to the Super Bowl can a movie director lead a team to the Super Bowl and this is going to be kind of like an experiment with a little twist because we are going to sign Ross and Thurber to the New England Patriots because I kind of wanted to put him on a team that was good already. I kind of contemplated putting Ross and Thurber on a full 99 overall team and seeing if they could win the Super Bowl, but I got to think that's a little bit too easy. So what we're going to do is it's kind of going to be a rebuild and an experiment in the same video. So Ross and Thurber is going to be the starting quarterback. And since we're at the Patriots, we already have a half team. Well, we have a good team because we're the Patriots. I'm going to allow myself five trades to make this team as good as possible surrounding Ross and Thurber to see if he can, in fact, lead a team to the Super Bowl. So if you guys do enjoy today's video, let me know by dropping a like. Let's see if we can smash 2,000 likes for the first ever movie director to be in Madden 18. If you guys have any ideas for future experiments, let me know in the comment section below. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. But with that said, let's jump into the rebuild slash experiment and see if we can make Ross and Thurber a Super Bowl champion. <laughs> so the first player we are going to bring in to surround Ross and Thurber with the best wide receiver core possible is none other than Julio Jones. There's no point in having Tom Brady because, I mean, we're having Ross and Thurber as our starter, so I traded him away in this deal. And we also traded Dwayne Allen in a third-round draft pick to bring in the GOAT wide receiver, Julio Jones. So we're like, we're trading a GOAT for a GOAT. So, we, I mean, we still have a GOAT. So trade number two, we're bringing in two decent players at positions of need. So we needed a strong safety and a left end, so we trade away Jimmy G, who we don't need for this video, Vincent Valentine, and next year's second-round draft pick for Derek Wolf, an 83 overall left end, who's better than what we have now and TJ Ward, who is also better than who we have now at that position. So for our third trade, we fill another position of need and bring in Sean Lee, a 93 overall right outside linebacker for Rex Burkhead, Patrick Chung, and a second round draft pick. Now for our fourth trade, we get even more help at the cornerback position. We bring in Aqib Tlaib for a first and a third round draft pick, where the third was from next year, and Duran Harmon, who we no longer needed since we did bring in TJ Ward. So we have some beast corners, you know, Malcolm Butler, Keep to leave. That's, that's, some, that's a pretty good cornerback duo. I am pooping myself. Oh my God. So we just bring in for our fifth and final trade, arguably the best running back in the NFL, David Johnson for a 71 overall right end, 74 overall corner, and a 74 overall left tackle. So 
on top of the Patriots already having a good team, Ross and Thurber is going to now be surrounded by David Johnson and Julio Jones. So looking at this offense, if we need to go ahead and put Ross and Thurber as the starting quarterback, I could make a lot more trades, but like I said, if I did that, the team would be way too unstoppable. So I only wanted to give Ross and Thurber five potential trades to make the team better since he's already on a good team in the Patriots. I mean, this offense, there's a couple lacking points, especially on the offensive line at center and left guard. Those two players aren't bad. It's just they don't look good compared to the rest of the team. Now we only have one good tight end, but we needed to trade him away to bring in Julio Jones, but still, man. Julio Jones, Julian Edelman, Brandon Cooks, Chris Hogan, Danny Amendola at the wide receiver core, David Johnson, Deion Lewis, James White, Mike Gillisley, all at the running back core, which I could take a lot of these players and trade them away and bring in superstars to, to help the team even more. But like I said, I mean, the team's already good and we limit ourselves to five. And on defense, defense could have had a few more spots that we could have, you know, upgraded, especially the left outside linebacker position, but still is looking pretty freaking nice, especially with the addition of Sean Lee and the trades of Derek Wolf and TJ Ward did help. But with that said, boys, we're about to jump to midseason and see how the movie director is doing at the quarterback position. Now, if the movie director actually leads the Patriots to the Super Bowl, that should end all discussion of Tom Brady being the GOAT. Because, I mean, if a movie director can do it in that offense and with that team, anybody can do it. But I do want you guys to let me know in the comment section below what you think this team's record is going to be at the end of the year. Madden simulations are crazy. I mean, a 56 overall quarterback, I have no idea what it's going to do to this team. Like, this team, for all I know, could be 0-6 or oh, it'd be 0-8 at midseason. I can't math. But you never know with this game. We're about to see. Week 8 is about to conclude. And Rostin Thurber has the team currently at 3-5. and five. So with how good the team actually is, the Patriots have already lost five games and the Bills are running away with the division. So Ross and Thurber up to a 60 overall man, but doesn't look like he's having the greatest of seasons. I want to see if the games were close at all because if they were, that means we can kind of flip them around in the second half of the season. We lost three games in a row. We, we started off 1-0, lost to the Saints, Texans, and Panthers. So we're just really streaky right now. We're scoring enough points to side against the Panthers. Actually, our defense is kind of letting us down sometimes. I mean, we're just scoring 30 points almost half the game, so uh, maybe it's maybe it's our defense. Maybe it's not Rawson's fault at all. Let's go to the stats really quick and see how we are statistically. We have the ninth best offense in the NFL. Maybe it is our defense. Our defense is 24th in the NFL, so it's not necessarily Rawson at all. He has 13 touchdowns to 7 picks. Could be better, but I've seen a lot worse in experiments. He already has 2,000 yards passing as well. How's our team doing? David Johnson having a good year. So our defense is the thing that needs to come back and actually do well, and we could pot potentially make the playoffs with Rawson. So with that said, let me know in the comment section below how you think we're going to end up. I'm going to say, I'm going to predict, I say we come back and go 8-8. Eight and eight. I don't think there'll be enough to, for us to make the playoffs, but that's my prediction. Here it is, boys, the moment of truth. We actually came back and went 10-8. And six. So after midseason, we only lost one game. We went seven and one to end off the year. Ross and Thurber is all the way up to a 69 overall. That is insane, man. David Johnson up to a 99. This team, this offense with three 99 overall players. And defensively, a lot of players improving as well. Keep Sleep up to a 97. This is insane, man. Did we, we did not actually win the division. The Bills went crazy. But kind of lucky for us that the Dolphins and Jets had bad years. But I w what if Rawson actually won the MVP? Our offense finished 6th in the NFL. And defensively, we finished 11th. So our defense improvement is what helped us and led us to the uh, playoffs. So did Rawson come in the top 10 of the MVP race? I will poop myself if he did. Rawson Thurber. Rawson freaking Thurber. A movie director comes in 7th place in the top 10 of the MVP race. Jimmy G, who we traded to the Broncos, came in 10th. I didn't even notice or didn't pay attention to who won it. Aaron Rodgers did, of course. Tyrod Taylor coming in second. Dak coming in third. That's insane. Rawson came in fifth in the Offensive Player of the Year. David Johnson came in eighth. Is he considered a rookie? He is, <laughs> even though he has seven years of experience. Rawson Thurber still won the Rookie of the Year award. Deshaun came in second. Leonard Fournette came in third. I'm just freaking hyped that we actually made the playoffs with Ross and freaking Thurber as our quarterback. 
insanity at its finest. So his final stats on the year, he had 36 touchdowns to 15 interceptions, almost 4,500 yards. Rushing-wise, uh, David Johnson was a huge pickup. 1,500 yards and 15 touchdowns with Deion Lewis adding 12. And receiving yard-wise, looks like Julio Jones rightfully so uh, led our team with 1,300 receiving yards. He had 12 TDs. Let's see if anybody we picked up had great years defensively. Dante Hightower with 151 tackles. And it looks like Coney Ely had 16 and a half sacks. So he was our low lowest overall player starting on defense, but yet had the most sacks by a lot. So boys, it is time to see how far Ross and Thurber can bring us into playoffs. I just now noticed we're taking on the freaking Cleveland Browns. If we get knocked out, if Ross and Thurber and the Patriots get knocked out of the playoffs by the Cleveland Browns, I'm ending the video, moving to a desert, building a hole, and just becoming a sand. Let's just see, dude. We better not... I'm 100% I'm ending the video if we lose to the Browns. The video is just going to end. <laughs> Come on. I want to win the Super Bowl so bad. Thank God we beat the Cleveland Browns. We are on like a huge freaking hot streak, man. We've lost one game since midseason, including the uh, wild card round. Now we're taking on a divisional foe, the Buffalo Bills, who won the division. Can we do it? Can Ross and Thurber win one more game and take us to the AFC Championship game? And he does, dude. This is actually happening. This is actually freaking happening. We're taking on the Oakland Raiders, dude. Okay, but I just got to chill out for a second before we have an aneurysm. So we're going to go to the playoff schedule, see how much we're actually winning these games by. Go to team schedule and postseason. We've scored 52 points on the Browns and beat the Bills by 15. Please, dude, I want to make it to the Super Bowl so bad. Ross and freaking Thurber. Ross and Thurber, let's be great. We did make it to the Super Bowl. Ross and Thurber excels all day. It seems like Ross and Thurber is just one step ahead of the Raiders through for 293 yards as we advance. He's still up to his 69 overall, dude. I'm pooping myself. I never, I didn't expect this to happen. That's why I limited myself to five trades. <laughs> five freaking trades. I didn't expect this to happen. Taking on the Green Bay Packers. So the quarterback matchup in the Super Bowl is Aaron Rodgers versus Ross and freaking Thurber. We only won by three. So that's actually kind of worrisome, but hey, dude, I, I mean, I, god dang, if we went 0-16, I wasn't going to be surprised. So, boys, we're going to advance to the Super Bowl, and as I always do in my videos like this, my rebuilds, we're going to, they went 13-3, and dude. They probably had the best record in the NFL, so we're going to advance the week. I'm going to black out my screen so none of the news highlights or anything spoil who won the Super Bowl. We're going to look at it together. Screen's black. <laughs> Please. Ross and Thurber, man, I believe we're on a hot streak. Not seen anything. We're skipping the schedule. Schedule's been clicked. So no, nothing can be spoiled at this point. At the same time, we are going to see we cannot make it this far and not win the Super Bowl. Is Ross and Thurber going to be a Super Bowl champion? Man, like I said, if Ross and Thurber can win the Super Bowl with the Patriots, that's it for Tom Brady's discussion. It's over. That's it. No, if, I mean, freaking... <laughs> Let's just look. Did we do it? Did we do it? We lost by three points. No. No freaking Ross and why? Ross and why did you do this? 